So our assembling will consist from a few parts and in part one I already prepared all the um, things that we need for that. We're gonna put our beads and our pendant to the beading wire. So I already pre-cutted mine and I want to give you example how I decided to assemble it. So I already did one side. I will not stop on how you're gonna put your bail because all the supplies are not from bargain bit box. So I give you idea of what did I do. Again, I will show you. I took the bail from my stash. I took this um, jump ring. I mean, it's toggle uh, clamp ring. And I took one piece of chain. So basically that's it. But again, depend on what you have, you can do something pretty interesting <laughs> with your bail or just put on it on a jump ring it still will be beautiful because the project is beautiful and um, i took some four millim or five millimeter uh spacer from my stash again silver tone i took the bead cups from my stash and uh, i used from the bargain bead box this adorable beast that we got and uh, we already created two beads from our mother of pearl so um this is all we need we need our creams we need cream cover we need wire protectors and of course we're going to need our tools like usually pliers cutting pliers and cream plier so um i will start with securing this part and uh, then we will uh, create together the second uh, side and you will you, uh, and you will understand what I did if it makes sense. Again, um, I'm giving you ideas because it's not like all supplies from the bargain bit box, but you know, if you do jewelry, if you make your own jewelry, I'm sure you have your stash. And I'm working my wire protector through here. And I wanna make sure I will not take too much because I still have my other side to go. And I want to put my crimp right here. Oops. <laughs> okay. Running away. Okay, this is enough because, you know, the project is not heavy. But you can make a bigger tail if you want. It's up to you. All right. And I'm ready to put the crimp I mean to crash my crimp so basically sorry something something happened with my <laughs> pliers okay so I'm just simply crashing my plier like that crashing my crimp I mean all right one more time make sure that everything is secured nice and we're ready to move to our second side. Let me just hide my tail. Okay. All right. So basically here I'm gonna repeat myself from other side. Let me just put my supplies aside. So what I'm doing, I'm just first, first of all, I'm putting my, uh, my bead cup, my bead, cover it again, put spacer. like that now i'm taking my small bit but i want to put the cup first and now i'm ready for my small bead that we created and cover it again with the cup and put spacer in between and take another cup put my white bead cover spacer cup again and put in my bigger bead like that okay and now basically we're finishing the project the way we did it from that side
okay and now all left for me to do just to cover my project from this side again i'm gonna use my crimp i'm gonna use my wire protector walk it back okay and i want to walk it through this white bit just you know to secure it and then i will adjust my uh um my length i believe before i uh, crush my crimp To feel more comfortable you definitely can leave the longer tail of of uh, beading wire not to suffer like i'm suffering all right so i'm ready to crush my crimp and i'm simply doing the same thing i did with the first one just work with my instrument crush it make sure everything is secured but not over crush it, sometimes it happens. <laughs> and then it's very, very sad. You have to start all over. All right, and now I'm ready to cut my tail that I don't need. Okay, and now I just want to secure, I mean, to make my project more neat, I want to put the uh, cream covers from on each side. And my second one. Okay, and this is what we have in the center of our necklace. And now we will move on and we'll uh, create uh, extension to make the necklace complete. Okay, guys, if we're talking about the length of the necklace, of course, it's very, very individual. I already made one side of my necklace and I will tell you what I made. So from, from the bail to the end, it's gonna be eight inch, as you see. So my necklace is gonna be 16 inch, and I'm gonna put a little bit of extension chain, um, but I want to put this necklace for sale. And of course, if somebody will want longer, I still have material to work with, I can make it longer or whatever. But just in case if <laughs> nobody will buy it and it will uh, stay with me, this is the perfect lens for me. So what I try to say, you have to measure the necklace and do um, as many this links as you want your necklace would be. So to make 16 inch, I used, uh, as you see, six uh, links like that. So right now we're gonna create the links and uh, we're gonna put them on our chain. So let me put it aside for now. And um, we need to make uh, this um, links. So I already made mine, but I'm gonna show you how exactly I made them. So for this purpose, we need a bidding cups and you can use whatever you have in your stash or from the bargain bid box. We use this uh, beads that we got in the bargain bid box and we uh, need the eye pins. So very, very simple. I just put it like that. Put my bead and just cover my uh, eye pin make a loop don't over twist because you will have to connect those links and that's it and cut the rest 
So your link is ready and now you have to make it as many times as you want, depend on the length of your necklace. And when you're done, we're gonna just simply assemble everything together. So for this purpose, again, we're gonna open our link and just put all links together, make, making a chain of that. So open and put your other link and close and now again we open and we do this work until we reach desirable lengths of our uh, chain like that and keep going until you make your chain all right so when our uh, chain is ready we simply attach it to our uh, main part of the necklace so again the same thing we're opening our uh, link or loop and we put our necklace together And then we're good to go. We're good to close our loop. Okay. And this is what we have. So the necklace basically is ready. Just left a little bit more details. We have to put our closure and um, I decided to put extension chain as I said and I want my chain look pretty on the end so I took one small bit that we use here and I want just simply to make a you know to make like a finishing of my extension chain so I simply took it on the loop and do like that all right and now I'm ready to put it to my extension chain And this will be my finishing again. As I said, the set is going for sale, so I can adjust my uh, my chain, the length of it. It's not a problem, but still, it look more cute with the bead. I believe in the end. If you don't want, you don't have to do it. Or of course, you can put the closure that you want. And I'm opening my extension chain. I want to put it here and close it. And from other side, I'm gonna just put the lobster I just realized I'm missing a jump ring so I'm gonna I'm gonna take another jump ring and yeah and put it with the lobster so here we go or you know I could just use I, I could just pre-open my link honestly and do the same but, but it's okay so I'm opening my jump ring and I'm gonna put my lobster and attach it to my project. And that's it, our necklace is ready. Let me put aside everything that's not related to the necklace. And I want to show you how the necklace look like. So it look like that in my opinion very neat and very interesting very very unique project and if you want to stay with me for earring part you're very welcome to do it but if you don't like earrings i think the project is done and <laughs> this is what we got okay and uh, let's just make earrings for those who wants to make them so let me put this beauty aside for now and for our earrings, we need the following. Let me put everything I already tried to prepare. So this, the earrings we're gonna make. In my opinion, they're super, super unique and cute. And we need this uh, little pearls or uh, uh, mother of pearls that we got. Anyway, the small beads that we used here. Also for the earrings, we're gonna need uh, 11 OC beads in mine, 11, uh, mine silver galvan galvanized stone again this is 11 o also we're gonna need this cute shell charms we're gonna need ear hooks wires 
and I'm using my in a sterling silver because you know if person have allergies so definitely gonna be better use sterling silver than anything else all right and uh, what else we need and we need a uh, jump ring again I have my jump ring already prepared so basically that's it and of course since we're gonna bid we're gonna need our beading uh, thread and needle and uh yeah and we're gonna make this project but before we do it i want to say if you over help with me with beaten part <laughs> so i i want to offer you more simple way to do the uh earrings so the way we did this uh thin connector for the necklace we, we can do two more i mean yeah for earrings two more i already made one so i just want to show you and you can simply attach your bead this teeny tiny bit here and the same way I did my uh, extension finishing you can just make a loop like that cut it and you just can connect this earrings like this. Let me show you, let me put it aside for now. It's honestly, it's just last moment decision. I just came up right now with that because I understand for some people, you know, too, too much bead weaving in the project. So you definitely can make earrings like that as well. So, and that's it. You're good to go, you, you just put your wire earring wire whatever you want to put close it and basically your earrings are ready like that so it can be like second option for earrings and probably what i'm gonna do with those earrings uh if somebody will buy the whole set i'm gonna put this earrings as a gift so why not person will have opportunity to wear two parts but now let's get started and make those cute earrings okay guys let's get started so i already put my thread and my needle together and i secured my first 11 o seed bead i went through through it so i'm ready to bead and uh, we need only four beads like that and we need four uh, seed beads so i'm gonna alternate my uh, pearls with my seed beads and this will be our first row and probably the only row because it's like it's very very small project it's not something huge so just keep going until you finish all your beads on your thread i need one more seed bead and one more pearl and i'm gonna uh make a loop like that okay and I'm, I'm walking through my project a few times just to make it look nice. So just take your time and walk through your thread, through your needle a few times, make sure that your uh, earring look good like that. You can feel it if it's still a little bit clumsy. Of course, you want to go ahead and fix it. Okay, so when we're done with this, the next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my center, and for center, I use the spacer, it's five millimeter silver tone spacer. So it's basically gonna be like that. I just Put it on the thread to the needle and go from side to side so i'm here right now i'm gonna put it here and i will go on the opposite side like that okay and again i want to go a few times to make sure that my flower will stay good so again i'm going i'm going here going through my flower and now I will go to opposite side you know you just play around with your needle and with your thread 
working few times just to make sure that your flower look good and look secured. Now when you did it, you can see that your project look like a rectangle with the shortest part and longest part, it will make sense. It look like to me. So I want to, I want my earring look like that. So that's why I came down with my uh, thread to, to the lower part and I'm gonna put uh, seed beads. I'm gonna put uh, five seed beads. But before I do it, let me just secure my shell. So I'm taking my shell and simply put it to the jump ring. So um, I open my jump ring, put my shell inside because I don't want to do it twice. I'm gonna attach it right away to my project. I will show you what I mean. I close it. So now my charm is ready to go to earrings and I'm gonna take uh, five seed beads since I already have one so we need six together so uh, what's going on why it's flying <laughs> so I need five more one two three four and five I have five on my needle right now and I'm taking my shell right away like this and now I'm just simply go through making a loop and i'm gonna make it at least three four times just to secure it properly and making sure that nothing is running away so you want to go through the circle two three times i mean three four times i would say going you see every next next time it make your project more and more neat more and more beautiful and I definitely will do one more time and when we're done with this we simply walk our thread to upper part because now we're gonna put our closure so we went from this seed bit and I'm walking up with my thread and needle like this. And I want to go to my top seed bit right here. Here I am. And now I'm gonna put my closure. You uh, depend on what closure you use. If you use lever back, it's one situation if you use hook. So what I try to say, I have opening here. I make sure that my opening is completely closed because I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the beading part together. So I will attach my, uh, my hook right away. And again, I need five beads since I already have one. The same thing we just did from the bottom. I take my five beads. Here I am, and I want to put my closure right away, like this. And again, I do the same thing. I'm going to do a few times around my uh, ear wire hook just to secure. Pro oh, you, you see, it's too, it's too small. So, okay, if you have the same issue, I'm sorry, guys. Right away, we're going back, and let me show you. <laughs> let me show you another way to do it. Okay, in this case, to put the closure, I put my two seed beads since we already had one. So I put two more and now I'm going to attach my closure. Make sure it will be in the center and so I already have one, two, three seed beads. So I'm going to put three more. One, two, three. And now it's going to be perfect. I'm going to make my loop going back to my first seed bead. And now here we go. Our closure will be just in the center of our earring. And I'm gonna walk a uh, few more times through my uh, circle of the seed beads. Just again, the same thing that we did from the bottom to make my project nice and strong. So just keep going with your thread. 
I'm going down and again I'm turning here all right and I'm gonna do it a few more times to secure my earring and just to secure your needle you're gonna make some loops as I said working with this thread you make I mean you can be sure that nobody ever will see your loop right here because the thread is completely invisible and you want to come down play a little bit do a few more loops somewhere you know just play around with your needle to secure it completely make sure that nothing will fall apart that nothing will you know i have something here so i'm gonna fix it and uh, yeah and, and just play around with your needle i know it may take time it can be a little bit annoying but it's very very important to do just to make sure that your project will not fall apart and when you're done with securing your thread you basically just cut the rest and here we go the beauty is ready our earrings are ready in my opinion, that's so cute. They can be worn even separately with a silver chain, if you want. Or, of course, they can be part of this amazing necklace that we created. And look how beautiful it's look together. I'm going to show all the jewelry in my uh, separate video when I'm going to try it on. Um, but, you know, <laughs> for now, it is what it is. And you can see it. It's, it's in my opinion, it's just gorgeous. And again, you can make your second pair of earrings if you want to, or to make just these simple earrings, but in my opinion, they still look super duper cute. So up to you and up to, on your taste. And um, if you liked my video and my tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Consider to subscribe to my channel. I will see you shortly in my next video. Thank you for watching me. Stay safe. Bye-bye.